Hi, and how are you today? Have you ever met a person of great faith? I know when I have met people of great faith, they're people that I am in awe of, people that I want to be like. I think that people that have tremendous faith, faith it is just something that is inside of them. It's sort of almost in their DNA. People that are able to look past the things that I can't look past in my own life. And so as I read this scripture today and we talk about this Canaanite woman who would not give up for anything, who was so persistent in what she was asking Jesus to do, she wouldn't leave them alone. In fact, she was an annoyance to the disciples. They said, just get rid of her. She keeps calling out of her. She's nagging us. But for her, there was nothing that she would not do in asking God to help her for her daughter. My friends, we're persistent in the things that really mean something important to us. And even in our own prayer life sometimes, we pray for things, we pray for miracles, and we do a few prayers and then we say, okay, well, maybe it's not meant to be, and we're on to the next thing. Or maybe the prayer that we're praying for the miracle that hasn't come yet in our lives is more for us to allow us to be changed and transformed so that our faith will come through our pores, that we will breathe faith to everyone that we meet in our attitude, in our language, in our generosity, in the way we show compassion. People that have tremendous faith People that are a person of faith never give up. And for me, I take that as the main thing in the gospel this weekend. And one that I offer to you because so many times we say, why God? Why are there some people that are allowed to have miracles in their lives and other people don't have miracles in their lives? I don't have the answer to that. And I wouldn't presume to be able to even try to begin to answer that question. But I do know that what Jesus is trying to teach us today in the Gospel is that our faith has to be something that we pray about every day. It has to be something that we bring with us into every situation. It's sort of like what we heard last week with Peter and Jesus. You know, Peter had to keep his eye on Jesus. Otherwise, as soon as he took his eye away, he started to sink. And yet so often we're afraid and we don't even want to get out of the boat. But that's the invitation that Jesus has last week and this week. You want to be a person of faith? You want miracles to happen in your life? Take a chance, take a risk, trust in me in your life. I will never disappoint you. My friends, the only way we can do that is by coming together. The only way we can truly do that and get to that point is by becoming part of a Christian community on a regular basis. I invite you to join us here at Church in the Nativity, a stewardship parish. This has come this weekend on the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. God bless you.